part of it. So, for those who can uh, who are here, this is a game called Beast by Studio Midhall. From what I remember, I think this is like their first game that they've produced. Um, and it's a Kickstarter, and so I just got this Kickstarter in today. This is actually probably one of the first streams of uh, an unboxing of this game. So you guys are getting exclusive uh, content right now. So um, I'm really excited for this. I wish I could get the word out to more people. I just got, I, I only have so much. So if you guys want to share this live stream on your social media and get some more people in here, that'd be awesome. But either way, like I said, I'm gonna upload it to my channel. Um, just a couple of uh, things you guys should know about. Um, number one, uh, the channel is doing really good. We're getting up to almost 650 subs. So if you watch this or if you're watching this for the first time, make sure you guys are subbing to the channel so we can get up to that 1,000 mark. Almost there. Secondly, I opened up a Patreon account. Basically, if you want to support me uh, financially, I think that would be awesome. And the way that you can do that is through the Patreon. We have uh, the cheapest options that I could put on there are $3, $5, and $10. That's going to be your breakfast, lunch, and dinner options. And so um, if you are interested in supporting me, you can click the link in my profile. Uh, to support the Patreon, um, and uh, every little bit helps, man. Just uh, back it because you believe in it. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the unboxing of Beast. This is literally the cheapest. I was like, I have to open this thing with a X-Acto knife, but this is the cheapest like cellophane wrap I've ever seen. It literally like melted off, and it wasn't in the sun for that long, so. There goes the cellophane wrap. I'll tell you what, man. First thing I'm noticing is that artwork is incredible. Look at how beautiful this artwork is. So to those who don't know this game, this is a one versus many game. And so basically one player will play as the beast. And that beast will be hidden in the different environment maps that they have. And uh, as you're hiding from the hunters, the hunters are going to go around trying to hunt you down. And uh, it's kind of um, along the same vein as uh, mind management. Um, some people have said that they prefer mind management. Some people said this one's actually better. Some people said it's actually close. Doesn't matter for me. I have both. And I have the deluxe Kickstarter edition. So this is pretty cool. I didn't even notice there's like a skull on there until I saw it in the light. Wow, that's pretty cool. But we're not here to talk about mind management or mind MGMT here to talk about beast so let's get this unboxing all the way open my wife should be getting home soon so if you hear the the door or the dogs or anything like that I apologize but uh, beast uh, is checking the inside sometimes there's box work uh, box artwork in the center there we got a nice picture of the front box cover and one of my favorite things which is punching out components and so we've got the little uh, cardboard components I don't remember if I got the deluxe components there's a possibility so real quick let me bring this back so you guys can see this this is the map uh, that you'll be using to play on and it is double-sided and so oh, that's upside down let me try this again this thing is flopping everywhere there we go that looks really cool. One thing that I like about this map, it's really, really expansive. It's a pretty big size. It's um, taken up a good chunk of the board here. Everything is kind of labeled. It has the different phases, the dawn phase, the day phase, the, uh, the night phase, um, the northern expanse. All of these places are like labeled as to what they are. Um, and if you guys have any questions while you're looking through this, uh, feel free to put them in a chat and uh, let me know. Um, now, over here, this is, um, and one thing that I've noticed is that there's like an embossing on this, uh, like this little, the little stones right here, so that not only is it like you can kind of feel it, um, but it just looks really cool, it's kind of shiny. Uh, cool looking board, man. So this is the board and this is where the active movement is. Um, you can set traps and the traps go at the top over here, but this is how you hunt down the animal. Um, so that is that thing. Oh, I could just leave this set up in case you guys want to see it. Here is the some more artwork. I'm gonna go ahead and put that off to the side. Here's the rule book. Um, rule book is oh, actually the rule book is really big print. That's good, man. Usually they don't have really like large print for the rule book, so this is good because um, and it doesn't it doesn't look like the rules are too expansive. I mean. Um, the I just learned and played the 
Star Wars deck building game, which I'll probably do a review of soon on the channel. But that even that rule book was like 30 pages. This one is only, what, uh, 16? And so there's a lot of cool components in this game that we're going to go through. Uh, let's see. We got some more punch out boards, which it's looking like I didn't get the deluxe version of this. Oh, look, another piece of artwork that's piled in there. These are more punch out boards, which I'm looking forward to punching out because I love punching out tokens. And then over here, I'm not exactly sure what this is, but this is a double layer board that's got like a little bezel here. I'm assuming that this is the player board for the beast, I think. And then um, the, I guess for the, the they have, um, if I'm not mistaken, there is, what is this, create and view custom contracts. Oh, correct, yes, because this, this over here is the way that you can custom, uh, create your own custom games uh, by using these custom contracts uh, website. And uh, this, I believe, is supposed to go in there like that. Or maybe not, or does it? Does that fit in there? I think it does. It seems like it's a little too big. It seems like it doesn't fit in there. Maybe this isn't supposed to go there, but either way, that's kind of cool. I think that's how that goes, but I'm not sure. Over here, um, it has the, oh, maybe it was because I was supposed to do it this way. There it is. So uh, from the outside, when you place this in place, this is what the other players will see is just artwork on the back. But on your side, you have the map of where you're located that's hidden from the other players, as well as instructions for how to do everything in the game, all the actions. That is super cool, actually. I'm really impressed with the with the way this came out. And then there's the even bigger map. I guess this is for more players. And then there's a smaller map on the other side of this for less players. That is super cool. This is honestly one of the coolest things I've ever seen component-wise in a board game. I love this so much. This is awesome. So here are the characters, um, which I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. These are the different hunters that you can play as. So there's Helga and these are dual layered. So you got the dual layer boards and then you have these little tokens that go in there. Um, these little pieces fit inside these little slots that are indented. Um, there's also um, on the back, it gives you a little description. So you guys can see that. And uh, it kind of tells you a little bit about their story of each person. So you've got Helga, Krim, the Trap Master. She's the Seer, the Watcher, the Great Bow Huntress, the Scout, and the Commander. And each of them has a different way that they play with their own asymmetric unique abilities that you guys team up as a team of four against the Beast. So these four will all uh, team up together, which is pretty cool. Put those off to the side, and just so you guys can see this, because I think this is one of the cooler parts. This, these are the different beasts you can play. So this is Hogbad, War Chief of the Great Stampede, Mara, Sovereign of the Endless Night, Fangrir, Esmeria, uh, Ra Raga, Oracle of the Abyss, Bolgan, and then Attack on the Northern Sediments, which I'm assuming is double sided. Um, the Northern Gods. This gives you some background info on each of the beasts that is, is in the game. And then over here, oh look, oh, we have another one of these boards. Does that mean you can play as two beasts versus everybody? I wonder. That would be pretty interesting. But this is cool, another one of those player boards. And uh, this is another scenario. So it comes with two scenarios. Right here, you got Northern Settlements and Shipwreck. And then on the backs, you have the Great Cleansing and the Northern Gods. So there's four scenarios in the game. And I think there can be more online um, because I think people can create their own custom scenarios, which are own rules and stuff like that. But that's pretty cool, man. And so there's six different beasts you can choose from, which are pretty awesome. And uh, it's got some cards in here, action cards. Over here, you've got hunter items, so that's how these work, and they're pretty easy to describe. Beastly tongue, move a nearby hunter, settler, or animal to your location, right? So these are for, probably for, that's probably a beast action. Uh, gather the pack, move one step, then each wolf in your zone moves up to one step. That's pretty interesting. Um, oh yeah, because I believe that there are, these are, 
other cards. A little, they're a little bit smaller. If I'm not mistaken, there are tokens for the different beasts that wander around. These beasts you can utilize, I think, for different effects. And then the animal, the beast themselves, can actually eat these, I think, or consume them. Um, but when you do, it kind of alerts people. And these are like tribesmen or hunters uh, figures that you can probably hire and use to find and track down the beast. It came with a little bag for everything to go in. And that's pretty much it, man. I, I didn't get the upgraded components, but I guess that's something that I was like, yeah, you know what? I feel like this is enough of an upgrade. I mean, these wooden meeples are pretty nice. Um, I don't think I'm gonna need all of the upgraded components. I think the upgraded components were like maybe acrylic standees, which acrylic standees, I, I think, I'm okay with cardboard, but I think I'm upset now because I played Vagrant Song and not knowing that acrylic standees were so nice. I kind of wish I would have gone for those, but Studio Midhall, if you ever get to watch this video and you want to send me a couple of uh, acrylic standees, I, I would appreciate that. So, um, But yeah, you can hook it up if you guys want to, but I'm excited to play this game regardless of the, of the, uh, uh, the addition that I got. So that's pretty much it, man. That's everything that comes inside of the box. And uh, I'll show you the other side of the map, which is the smaller side, the drenched lands. And I think, I think that this is for how many players you have. So I think a smaller map is for lower player counts. The bigger map is for bigger player counts. And that one map will service a whole bunch of different animals um, that are beasts that you're fighting, but also will um, give you a good look at uh, the, um, the different scenarios as well. And then when you look inside the box, this is what the inside of the box looks like. Everything has its place. Um, and so everything can fit back into the board or into the box just perfectly. Um, I think this was supposed to go down here. These can go off to the side. I threw that one off the table, which is awesome. The hunters go here. Then after the hunters, I'm sure all of these little bits will go in here into these compartments. And then this will go there. And uh, pretty much it, I think. And then the instructions can go on top and then the, the board get, the box goes on top as well. And that's pretty much it, man. That's it for the Beast Unboxing, which is by Studio Midhall. I cannot wait to get this to the table and give you my thoughts and do a review on this game. I'm gonna try to do that as soon as possible, man. Here in the, the YouTube business, you've got to be able to do things quick <laughs> and be first. So I'm gonna try to get this as soon as possible so that way we can get some views on that because my game reviews don't get a ton of views, um, but that's okay. Um, I just do this because I really love it, but I would love it if it did get views because that'll help me get more subs, more likes, so if you guys have seen this live stream, you want to share it with somebody, go ahead. But pretty much that's it. Thank you guys for tuning in. You guys are awesome. And uh, don't forget, if you haven't checked it out, I do have a Patreon account. And uh, I uh, would love to see some people support. So anyway, thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe as always. And see you guys later. Peace out.